Safety is number one, always number one. Every time you do a job, you've got to think about safety. Production will never ever come before safety. Safety at ASR Group is for everyone. Everybody needs to get involved. Everybody needs to take it on board. When it comes to safety, we all have a part to play and we're all responsible. At the end of the day, safety starts with me. Every day, every hour, every minute, every second, safety starts with all of us. ASR Group has worked hard to be the leader in our industry. And that's especially true when it comes to employee safety. It takes relentless focus and commitment from each of us to ensure safety on the job for all of us. And the good news is, our efforts are paying off. Employees across the company have embraced the strong safety programs and training we receive. And the result is a safety culture that strives to keep all of us safe. But our goal is continuous improvement. And that means taking safety to the next level. We need to think about safety as much more than just a checklist of do's and don'ts and rules and regulations. It's about eliminating hazards and changing behaviors before an injury or accident occurs. It's about observing your workplace procedures and raising your hand to speak out to improve safety whenever and wherever possible. And it's about looking out for the safety of your coworkers and not just yourself. Now, to improve our results, we need your ideas and observations. Everyone has to get in the game if we're going to raise the bar in safety. As the stories you're about to see make clear, each of us can make a difference. My name is Mickey Cook and I'm a warehouse operator. I've been working at this particular plant for 20 years. At Thames we've always been very safety minded and for as long as I can remember it's always been our number one priority. Last year there was an incident in the warehouse. I was going about my business where I see one of the operators from the packing department. He had a, a top sheet uh, placed on his forks and he asked me if I'd uh, give him a hand to put it in. So I got off the truck, started to lift the top sheet into place and I couldn't believe how heavy it was. And I said to the, the guy, that, is these getting heavier or am I just getting weaker? And he said, well, I thought it was just me. So we lifted it into place and after that, to satisfy my own curiosity, I had to go and weigh one of these top sheets. And I found out that it weighed 57 kilos which is seven kilos more than what it should weigh. We tend to stick to 25 kilos per man. So a reel should weigh no more than 50 kilos. So I emailed the manager of the packing department and my manager later told me that we'd changed suppliers and they'd now brought the weight of a top sheet down to 50 kilos, which is what it should be. It's better to be safe. There's potential for knee injuries, back injuries, I actually had surgery on my back. So me of all people can tell you that it's really not a nice place to be. Working at the Thames Refinery and being part of the ASR group, I do feel as if I'm part of a family. And we just want to keep everybody safe. A majority of accidents can be prevented. It's all about us doing the right thing. My name is Jim O'Brien. I'm a warehouse operator. I've worked for the company for 28 and a half years. It's a very busy warehouse. And I think most people in the area do watch out for each other and pay attention to safety. A few months ago, as I was working in the warehouse, I saw another forklift driver drive past. As he did so, I noticed that the propane bottle was in the wrong position on the back of the truck. I asked him to stop and we checked out the propane bottle and found that the, the cradle that holds it had actually broken and all that was holding the propane bottle to the truck was the rubber hose. It was a very dangerous situation because that particular truck is one that we used to travel across a very uneven and bumpy yard and the propane bottle could have fallen at any time and then there could have been sparks causing a very dangerous explosion. After we realised the danger of the situation, we parked the truck in a safe place, disconnected the propane bottle and tagged out the truck. An engineer came, he took the truck away, immediately repaired the bracket, the broken bracket, and brought the truck back to service. Prevention is very important when it comes to safety. When I stopped the truck, I feel that anybody would have done exactly the same thing if they'd been in my situation. 
I am proud of the safety record at Thames. It takes a lot of hard work, but we do achieve a high level of safety because we're all looking out for each other. The job gets done and at the end of the day we all go home safe. My name's Chris Taylor, I'm a senior process technician. Primarily I work in the boiler house, a utilities plant. My work takes me all around the refinery. About six months ago, I was uh, starting my morning daily routine. And, uh, I was walking across the yard. I noticed something that was unsafe that grabbed my attention. Yeah, what I saw was um, a hose, which I knew was connected to a pump in another building, which pumps hot condensates. And it was uh, directly adjacent to where uh, two chaps were working, laying cement. This was dangerous because, I mean, uh, condensates are extremely hot water, high product of steam. And um, apart from scalds and serious burns, I mean, uh, ultimately it could, it could cause a uh, fatality. So it's quite serious. The first thing was to get the chaps away from the, the source of the danger. So I asked them to get out of the pit where they was working and then uh, told them to wait there and stay out of the pit while I went and made the pump safe. I then proceeded to go to where the pump's power supplied from. I turned off the pump. There's an emergency stop button that we use. I, I hit that and then I put a danger plate onto a power supply unit that locks out the power to the pump so no one could start it while I walked away. I then went back to the, the two guys working in the area and told them that what I'd done, that I'd made the plant safe and that they was free to carry on with their work and that they were safe to do so. The follow-up action to this was basically a safety meeting which recommended hard piping the uh, condensate hose directly to the sewer so that it wouldn't be an issue and no one could move it anywhere in the future, it would be there. It was just safe, hardwired safe. I have been impressed with safety since ASR Group has acquired us. Safety is the number one priority here and I, I think that ASR Group have, have brought that with them. And um, I think all of us on site now feel with confidence that we can bring an issue up and it, and it will be resolved. And uh, yeah, I do feel that. There probably is more of a team effort on site now. It's not just your own safety, it's, it's looking out for everybody else's safety at the same time as well. The real life examples you've just seen should make it very clear that we want and encourage all of you to stand up and raise your hand whenever and wherever you see a potential hazardous situation. Remember, you have every right and the responsibility to approach a coworker if you see them working in an unsafe manner. I know I'm not the only one who's seen a coworker on the floor without the right PPE. Even if it's just ear protection, I want you to bring it up with them. And on the packing line, if you see a colleague that has altered or disabled machine guarding, you need to point it out immediately and reinstate the proper procedures. And if necessary, bring it to the immediate attention of your supervisor. Production quotas are important, but nothing is more important than the safety of our people. We encourage you to speak up and look out for the next person, because that next person could be you. So make no mistake, safety starts with you, but it doesn't end there. If we all think about the behaviors and potential issues that could impact others, and we take the appropriate action, we can and will take safety at ASR Group to the next level. I think safety is mine and everybody's responsibility. Safety is what we do day in and day out. I do feel that ASR Group is a safe place for me to work. Our safety record at ASR Group is one of the best and I know we can do better, and I know we can do more. Safety starts with me, but it's everybody's responsibility to be responsible for safety. We're all looking out for each other, and we're all going home as safe as we were when we came in the gate in the morning. We want to be a leader, especially when it comes to safety. And I'm always watching out for my co-workers, and I always want them to watch out for me.